Hey, it's Dan Nickerson, and I recently did a webinar with showing you how to set up simple funnels using Socrates theme and HTML templates. And it was very well received, but people wanted me to go over it again and make a shorter video. So, so this is my short video to show you how to set up a simple funnel using the Socrates theme. And as an example, um, you'll see my website Simple3x here. And this is actually one of my uh, businesses, and it's a very simple landing page opt-in box. Uh, with a very simple funnel process. So let me just show you how that all works and I'm going to show you how to replicate this exact page using Socrates in just a few minutes. Okay, so you can see on this page I have the logo, I also have text on the left, and I have the opt-in box on the right, so it's a little two-column layout. I also have Social warf Warfare plugin here, so you can social share this page. And I also have a, a custom menu here on the bottom of the page. Once someone enters their email, they go to a list confirm page. And so this is the thanks for requesting more info page. Check your email inbox and so forth. And then once they confirm the email, they would go to a download page. And I can show you how to make one of those as well. So I'm going to go to a, a fresh demo install that I have here. So this is just a, a sample in Socrates install right out of the box. Uh, so there's nothing else on here. You can see it's got a regular traditional layout with the header and so forth. There's no templates. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go add a new page. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just make this my landing page. So I'm going to call it landing page, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the landing template. So I'm going to go to template, landing page template, like so. The next thing I'm going to do is actually hide the page title. So I, don't want the, I don't want the page title to say landing page on it, so I'm hiding that title. And then in here, I can add a logo. So I can go to Add Media, and I've uploaded the logo here. So there's my Simple 3X logo, and I'm going to choose to center that logo, and I'm not going to link it to anything. And if I wanted to, I could add in some alt text and description and text and so forth if I wanted this page to be indexed in search engines, but we're just going to leave that for now. And I'm going to make sure it's full size. So click on full size. So center, link to nothing, and full size. Insert in the page. I'll go into visual mode here and now you can see I have this now I'm just gonna publish this for right now and you'll be able to see what this page looks like here okay so here you can see it's just a simple clean little layout container what has the simple 3x logo right so now I'm gonna go back to edit page now the next thing I did you'll see on this particular page you see like I said it's a two column layout Oops, it's a two column layout so there's also a little line here so I added a little line so I'm going to go back to this, and I'm going to use my Socrates Toolkit shortcodes. So I'm just going to add a little line right here, like so. That's my little sock divider height. Then it was a two-column layout. And so I'm going to grab the two-column layout. So now you can see I have the content left, content right. If I was to update that again and reload the page, you'll see that I have the underline, and I have content left, content right. Now I'm going to go back here. So this would be where I'd add in some marketing copy. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to add in some lorem ipsum content, which I automatically have here with the uh, the Socrates uh, toolkit. By the way, you can do things with this as well. You, if you wanted to add an, uh, a font size, some icon or something, you know, for example, a, a big star or something, you could add a star there. And I'll click on update again, and we'll reload. And now you can see I have this content on the left hand side here, and I got no content on the right. So I've got a, a notepad file that has some code on it. So I'm going to load that up. You'll see here that I've got some Aweber code. So I'm going to copy this Aweber code from right here. I'm going to go back to this page. And now in text mode, I'm going to go here and I'm just going to add in my Aweber code like so. Now you would have gone into Aweber or whatever form program you're using and you would have added in, um, you would have created your own form to get this code. So most likely you have a mail program. Uh, if not, there are other ways you can do it. Um, there are different third parties and I'll have a link to all that stuff if you if you need a, a mailing list program. So now I'm gonna click on update. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna reload. And now you can see I have the, the content on the left and I have the box on the right. So let's go back to this, this page again. You can see that I have, um, by the way, I can, I can copy this text if you want. I can just go like, I'm just gonna copy this. But you can see the other thing I have here is I have another uh, another line and I also have social warfare. So I'm going to go add those two things. So let's go back here and just for the sake of this I'm going to go in and just make this look a little nicer by just copying in my code here. So I'm going to highlight this lorem ipsum code that I have 
and I'm just going to paste over the, um, the code that I had from the other site. I'm going to click on update. So now I'm going to go into plugins and I, I installed a lot of these already. So uh, these are some plugins that I recommend on here. I have the, um, the Socrates Toolkit plugin, of course, Social Warfare. These are all free. Short Coder, Search Exclude. I'm going to show you all this stuff in a second. And WP Fresh Traffic and Yoast. So there's Social Warfare. It lets me display these different uh, icons. So I can just drag anything I want. I can drag in different icons if I want. I can remove them. And it will show these things. And it, you can automatically insert it on post. Or you can use manual placement. I tend to use manual placement. So I'm going to go back here. And now let me go back to my page. Let's get it back a couple times. So now I'm back on this page. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to add another divider line. So divider, like so. And then I'm going to add in their, their short code, which is social underscore warfare. By the way, with this particular plugin, you can actually use a page ID so that it, let's just say that you had a share uh, link on your download page. You wouldn't want people sharing your download page, but you could set it so it would share the front page by inserting a page ID there as well. Now, another plugin I mentioned here was uh, which search ex exclude. I'm going to show you that uh, shortly as well. I'm going to click on update, and now I'm going to go back to landing page, and you're going to see I still have my icon. I have my in under three minutes text, I have my opt in box. I have my social share. The only thing I'm missing now is my, my bottom nav bar. So in appearance and menus, you can set up different menus here. So there's a primary menu, and I actually already have a landing footer menu. So here's my landing footer menu. So if I want, I can add a couple of more things to it, and I can click on Save Menu. And then one of the unique things about Socrates is it has its own landing page footer. So you can use a unique footer on any page that you want, any landing page template that you want. So I'm going to go in here and grab Navigation Menu, and I'm going to select Landing Footer. I'm going to click on Save. Now I'm going to go back here again, and I'm going to reload. And you're going to see that this landing page footer is right here. If you wanted to add in some copyright text, you could go back as well. You could go to Custom uh, HTML, and you could just type in some code. You can add in a copyright if you want to center it. You're going to do like a P align equals center, little HTML code. I'll show you a trick on that as well. Uh, copyright. If you're new to this and you and you have a problem with with code, a really simple way to create HTML code, um, if you're not familiar with how to do it, is you can go in and just add a new. I'm going to go add a new post, right? How did I save that? Did I save that? Maybe it didn't like my code. Okay, so I'm going to go into add a new post, right? And I'm going to type in copyright my site 2018. Okay, um, if I wanted to, I could add a little copyright symbol too. But then I'm just go and, and center it like so, and then I'll click on text, and there's my code. So I can just go copy that code there, and then I can go back widgets. I'll have to save the draft post. But you can do that for any HTML if you want to create HTML. And if it doesn't, if you have really fancy HTML, you can view the source of the page. It'll actually grab it as well. So and now I'm going to reload, and you're going to see that the copyright's right here. Copyright my site 2018. If I wanted to add a little space there, I could as well. If I want to add a little extra code, I can just do like a BR kind of thing. I click on Save. Reload. And there's a little more space there below. So that is essentially copying the front page here, right? So the next thing would be to would be add in the list confirm page. So then I would go in here and type in list confirm, like so, <laughs> if I can type. I'm going to choose landing page template again. Now I'm going to click on exclude from search results. This is the search exclude plugin. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Yoast SEO, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to choose to no index and no follow that particular page, right? And then this is where you'd add in the text. Um, thanks, you know, for opting in. Please confirm your email, right? I can actually go here, and I'm just going to copy this text again, like so, and go back here, go to visual mode, and paste it, and click on publish. 
and now I can go to this page and you'll see this I didn't hide the title notice that so I there's my page and I can go back here and I can go and hide title like so update there's the page again and there's my list confirm page so that's the second part of the funnel. So the third step would be the actual download page. So I'm going to click on new page again. I'm going to call this download page. And let's just say that I want to um, make this uh, a two column page, right? So I'm going to go in here and make it two columns. Now I've got a product cover image. So I'm going to add from media this product cover image that I have and it's 512 by 512. If I wanted to I could link it to the download as well but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to insert it into page for now. And then here I can say something like you know thanks for your order. By the way I should I should have mentioned on the other page you, you obviously could have a, an offer or whatever but this this would be like a download or you know so in other words what I'm showing you as an example is they opted in for your list and then on the list, thank you, you would send them to this page, right? That's what I'm kind of talking about. Um, so thanks for your order. You know, here's your download. And maybe you want to have a big order button so I can go in here and I can I can go button. I'm going to do a ghost button. I'm a big fan of ghost buttons. And then this is the, uh, you know, download here. And then you'd add in the actual download link. So if it's a PDF, you would just add the PDF link in here, right? I'm just going to type in, this, this is an actual link, but simple3x.com slash download.pdf. And I'm going to leave that there. Maybe I'll just bold this text right here. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to choose the landing page template again. I'm going to exclude from search results. I'm going to hide title again. I'm going to go back to the Yoast and I'm going to say no because I don't want the search engines to find this. So no and no. The other thing I'll mention is that you don't always want to name the page, download page. So I typically just do something random like this. Okay. <laughs> and then I publish. And I'll publish that page and I'm going to click on there. It says thanks for your order. Here's your download. Download here. And that course content. I'll go back here and I'll just show you other things you can do. So. Obviously, I can go and make this an H1 if I wanted to. So I'm going to make this an H1, make it bigger. And then I need to get rid of this little extra content that's here as well. And then I'm going to click on Update again. And so there's Thanks for your order. Here's your download. Download here. So then I have, uh, obviously, I have these footer links. And one of the unique things about Socrates is that let's say that I don't want to have this particular nav bar on this page. I can go in back in the widgets and I can go to the navigation menu and I can select visibility and I can say hide if page is download page. Now think about that. You can do that for all kinds of things. So there's that. So I'm going to scroll back here and now this is going to be gone. See the navbar is gone. The other thing you can do with Socrates and with my WP Fresh traffic plugin I should say is that I have a WP Fresh pixel here. So with that, if you want to insert a Facebook tracking pixel, you can just go and grab this code, right? And then you grab a, a Facebook tracking pixel like so. And go back here and click on save. And now I have a Facebook tracking pixel. Instead, I only want that pixel to fire on the download page. I can say show if page is download page. And click on save and so now that pixel will only be on the download page pretty cool right okay so let me show you a couple of other things here so one of the things that uh, I didn't show you was video if you want to add a YouTube video but I want to show you a, a plugin that I use called uh, shortcoder and so this is the shortcoder plugin and actually already I'm automatically have some code installed here so say I want to add a YouTube video I can install a shortcoder plugin and it gives me this short code for my, for my, so, uh, sorry, let me go back here. Let me click on this. This is the YouTube code. So this is my actual iframe from YouTube that shows a video. It's giving me a short code for it. So now I can go back to pages and I can go to my landing page. And if I wanted to, I could just go in here. Let me get rid of this little icon here. And this is before that. I'm going to click on uh, SC name YouTube one. I'll click on update. 
and landing page, and then here's my YouTube video, right? So there's that. There's obviously a little gap. I can add, a, add, I can fix that if I want to. But that's just a cool little short code thing that you can use. And there's also one for Aweber that I have in here. So say that you grab this Aweber code. Oops, let me go back. So this is Aweber code that I've got. Now let's just say, for example, that I want to add this code to my sidebar in my blog. I can go in here and I can go grab custom HTML and I can just drop this in. There's my short code. Click on save. And now if I was to go back to my site, uh, you can see I have the Aweber box right here on the side of the navbar. So it's fully responsive, right? So you can see it right there. So it's kind of a cool thing you can do with a shortcoder plugin. So once again, I built this with um, free plugins and the Socrates theme. And you can obviously create all kinds of different uh, landing pages and templates. Uh, but I, I like to do it's just a simple, clean looking landing page. If you want to get started without having to, 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 to buy a fancy sort of system, then you might like this solution. So uh, once again, I'll go back and I'll show you the plugins that I'm using here. I'm using Search Exclude. These are all free. Shortcoder, uh, Social Warfare, my Socrates Toolkit, which is, comes with Socrates, uh, WP Fresh Traffic, which is also free. Uh, but it's my plugin, it's not on the repository, and Yoast SEO. So with Yoast SEO, you can hide the pages from the, from the Google. With Search Exclude, you can hide it from the search results. You see, that's what I meant to show you. So if I actually go back to the, uh, the blog here, and if I type in download, you're going to notice that there's no results for download, right? Yet, I have this download page right here. But if I go back, and I go back and uncheck this and click on update and then I go back and I reload this page there's the download page so that's why you use the search exclude so people can't find your download pages or any pages you want to have hidden so anyhow I hope this tutorial was helpful uh, there's going to be a page here that will show you a link that uh, you can get these links and learn more information alright thanks